are still talking about it. Bruce Brody and Terry Gordy, look out. Here we go. The count, they've got a chair. And Brody smashes the chair on. Terry Gordy. Here they are moving back around. Rick Hazard goes down. He went into that steel post. Hazard went into the steel post when the wrestler got knocked into him. Hazard may be hurt. He may have hit one of those protruding steel bolts or something. One of those bolts that braces the ring and Brody and Gordy are back in. And if they can hear me in the dressing room area, we need a referee. Rick Hazard is incapacitated. If you can hear me on the monitor, we need a referee. And a wild, bloody altercation. Here comes Bronco Lubitz as the bout continues. Bronco Lubitz is pushed down. And he says, ring the bell. I don't know, Bruce Brody might be disqualified here. Bronco Lubitz went down, out on the floor again. Here we have the house lights, please. House lights. House lights. Look out. There's Rick Hazard. He's been injured on the floor. Brody and Gordy are moving up the aisle there. Gordy and Brody are doing battle out in the ringside area. Rocco Levich back on his feet, heads out that way. Ralph Pulley has come out. And they are trying to get Bruiser Brody out of here. There they go. Bruiser Brody is back up in the ring. Ralph Pulley and Bronco Libich have re uh, restrained Terry Gordy. Brody's back up in the ring with the chairs. Wait a minute. Gordy has gotten away. And I'm afraid Gordy is coming back. Gordy's in the ring. Here comes Gordy. Ralph Pulley and Bronco Lovitch back up. These two giants are at it again. An unstoppable bout that is dangerous. Bruiser Brody still bleeding. The bout is over. We don't have a decision yet. Brody may have been disqualified. He's still locked up with Gordy. Here comes Brickhouse Brown from the dressing room. They get Gordy away and Brody comes over. Rick Hazard is bleeding horribly. Rick Hazard may have been seriously injured. I just looked up and saw him. He staggered back in the ring. Can we see Rick Hazard by chance? Rick Hazard is in a horrible state. Other wrestlers are coming from the back. can get this stopped. It's a mob scene in the ring. Everybody trying to get this stopped. Look out. They're coming to the floor. They're coming our way. Look out here. Look out here. Watch out. Watch the equipment here. Look out for the rock. Are we back? I'm looking at the monitors here. Uh, of course, they went into the cables. I'm not sure if we're on or not, but I'm going to talk. What has gone on here in the building since Bruiser Brody came right through here and knocked us off the air has been unprecedented. Every wrestler in the building had to come to the ring. Every referee. It has taken an extended period of time. Uh, it seemed like 15 or 20 minutes, probably was only eight or nine, but it seemed like longer than that to try to get order restored. Now, I believe I heard Bronco Lubitsch say as he came by me that Bruiser Brody is the winner by disqualification. Bruiser was disqualified and Terry Gordy is the winner. Okay, I've got that straight now. But like I say, 
I hope you were here in the crowd when this match took place to see what I'm talking about. I'm sorry we went off the air, but they were out of control. They came right through here and knocked us off. Here comes Joe Rinelli for the official announcement. Let's pick him up. Now, this been informed by Bronco Lubitsch, Bruiser Brody was disqualified for using the chair. The winner was Terry Gordy. Brody disqualified. The fans rooting for Bruiser Brody. We've never seen anything like it. I'm not sure we want to see anything like it again. I'm Mark Lorenzo at ringside. In